Hello everybody, welcome back to another Adobe After Effects 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to fix overexposure or darken footage that's too bright. Now, I've shown a lot of videos on how to brighten dark footage, and that's more common, I find. But sometimes you get too much light in the scene. Uh, this scene here that I brought in is just some, uh, it's just some standard stock footage. And it's not overly bright, so it's not really something I would do too much fixing in but if you look at the sky here it's very very bright in the sky and I just want to show you the technique so I'm going to teach you how to do this in about 90 seconds it's quite easy and it's not intuitive if I'm being honest um, so I'm going to show you let's go all right we've got the footage in here we dragged it into the timeline we're on our way the second step is we want to go up to edit and then click on duplicate you can also do command or control D uh, if you want to do it a little quicker now, when you've got the second footage, you'll be selected on the top layer. Here's how you do it. We go into the mode, and if you don't see mode, and there's a good chance you won't if you haven't uh, used After Effects in a while or it's on default settings, you need to go down to the bottom left here and go to Expand or Collapse the Transfer Controls Pane. You need to open that up, and then you'll have access to Blending Modes. When you have the Blending Mode open, left-click on the Blending Mode, and then instead of going to darken, well, actually, you know what? We can go to darken. Let's go with darken or let's go with multiply. Okay, multiply works, but that would be in like a holy smoke situation. It's way too dark. Um, but let's go with darken. And then you're going to see without darken, off, on. Yeah, it doesn't actually all do that much, does it? So let's look at, actually, let's look at multiply then. So I've used multiply. Multiply has darkened the sky quite a bit but it's darkened everything else as well. So we gotta go in and make some changes. One of the changes you can make, and I'd recommend first off, is going into the opacity. So I've got the top layer, I've clicked on transform, I've gone down to opacity, and this basically means how much do you want the effect or the blending layer to blend with the video below. So I'm just gonna go with something like, maybe something like that, okay? We've got a little bit more in the sky, Without it, the sky is pretty bleached and bright. With it, a little bit darker. All right, cool. The next step is you can go up and make some more adjustments. This might be enough for some of you guys. Uh, that might be just enough to get rid of the overexposure. But if you want to go down the rabbit hole a little more, we can go ahead and add in the exposure. <laughs> Believe it or not, there's an exposure effect. And if you can zip it up or you can zip it down. I am going to zip it down into the minus. So I'm going to go minus, minus one, and boom, we've got the exposure on there, on and off, off, on. Again, these are minor changes, but they matter. And lastly, you can go in and color correct it if you want. So you can go down to effect, go to color correction, and then you can go right into Lumetri color. And this would be the last step generally. And then you can go ahead and click on basic correction and then we can go in here and we can adjust some of the different things. So we want a little bit of a higher contrast ratio. Okay, we want to increase, decrease the exposure again. We can go ahead and make the adjustments here. We want to add in some shadows or take out some. I'm going to go ahead and add in some shadows. Like again, this really depends on what you're looking for. I'm going to take the whites down a little bit because the whites are a bit much. And uh, let's see about highlights. We want to add in some highlights. Yeah, something like that might look good. And again, you can go in and fix it however you see fit. I am going in here. There are some more options in here. So if you want to go into the curves and tint the, and do some other color correction, you go ahead. But the gist of it is use the blending modes like I've done there. Select multiply or darken generally. And then go ahead and do some color correction after that. You can get rid of some overexposure. And that's all there is to it, guys. Thanks for watching this tutorial. I got a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned. 